Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you the most important tables and reports for SAP users regarding SAP security. To basically show the content of SAP tables, you can use the so-called data browser with the transaction code SE16, SE16N or SE16H. Depending on what you prefer, you can use one of those transaction codes. I, in most cases, use the SE16N. Here right now you can enter the table name and then down below the corresponding selection criteria for the components. So let's start with the AGR underscore US. E R S. So here right now, this table stores the information about the assignment of roles to users. And then you have the table S M E N underscore B U F F C. Here right now, basically the favorites of SAP users are stored. Then you have the T P A R A table. So it's basically the table containing information about the parameter IDs and with the T para T the corresponding descriptions. Within the table USR002, USR02, my bad, USR02, you can get access to the logon data of SAP users or so the login information. Then we have the USR. 05. Here right now you see the user parameters with the corresponding values. So what kind of parameters have the SAP user used? And last but not least we have the USR07. Here basically you can see the last failed authorization check for an SAP user. Then move over to another transaction to the SA038 because within here you can basically um, execute an ABAP report. You can also use if you want to the SE38 so within the ABAP editor or the SE80 the object navigator but basically you don't have authorization for those two transactions but for the SA38. And let's start with RSUSR000. If you execute this report, then basically here you will see a list of all logged in SAP users right now. Then you have the RSUSR003. With that report, basically, if you execute it, then you can check the passwords of the standard users and all clients and check uh, change them immediately. So this is a potential risk within your SAP system. Then you have the RSUSR007. With that report, you can show the user with missing address data, for example, just type in the user and then um, yeah, choose the, the selection criteria, execute it, then you can see the incomplete address data. And then you have the URSUSR200. And with that, you can see a, a list of SAP users with the logon date. So this is also quite useful. Yeah, I said this, please um, like this video. Please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. And if you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.